Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of uh, Tornado Survival, uh, Season 11, and my siren just went off and scared me half to death as I was crafting things away just to try and get some achievements going, because I realized I didn't do them, and I'm like, well, we might be doing some of this other stuff soon, and I'd really like to do that. And then uh, we got a sandstorm brewing, which is unfortunate that it's not a thunderstorm, but uh, maybe there's a thunderstorm in the distance. I guess we can look. Um, okay, so... I'm, I wonder what the radius of the sirens actually are, because that's pretty far away, and that storm does not look to actually be directly impacting us. It's coming off of the water and blowing it away. So this actually will have zero impact on us, I believe, unless it starts to shift, which is certainly possible. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're, we don't have to worry about this for the moment. So, last episode, we did a bunch of work around the base here. We crafted up some of these nifty things. We'll mount up better in a little bit. And uh, we got paths lined up. This is about 95% lit up. So I feel pretty safe about keeping these villagers and playing through the night, not having to worry about zombie invasion. So they are prote they are now safe from uh, safe from the vanilla threats, which is exactly what we needed to take care of before we start worrying about uh, sandstorm threats, hail, wind, tornadoes, water spouts, and hurricanes, tropical cyclones. So... This episode, we're gonna do uh, the sa we're gonna work on something the safety of ourselves. Um, so that is going to involve building us an underground bunker. And um, these guys, I'm going to these need hmm these aren't gonna grow in, are they? Well, I don't have any dirt on me. We're not worried about that right now. So these guys are actually doing pretty good. I think they're actually gonna be breeding, uh, making some more. So maybe we can start thinking about having some iron golems soon. Uh, but what we're going to be doing today is building ourselves a basement. So I would like to construct multiple radars. Um, have like one out here in the middle of town for when you're just running around. Have another one in our like our inner chest eventually. So wherever we are we can plop down because I do believe I have the weather turned on for um, both the end and the nether. And then we'll have one down in our basement that will give our siren a little bit of purpose. So we're going to start with just a small, some sort of underground basement. And essentially to protect ourselves from the strongest of the strongest, unless this has changed, which I haven't heard from anybody that it has. Um, if we make it out of some sort of brick, we will be safe. That includes, you know, red brick, stone brick, cobblestone, any of the stone stuff. It's never going to be impacted by a tornado, um, at least with how I've set it up. So... We're going to build a small basement underground here, and it's going to be dropped down through a ladder, and I don't know where to put the entrance to. I think we're actually going to do it back here. I think this would be kind of cool, like the traditional ones where you've got a little wooden hatch. You have to run outside and go in, which to me, that thought terrifies me, um, to have to run outside to get into your shelter. Um, so, I, you know, we're going to just build this here. Um just to make it, I guess, a little bit scarier. But, you know, in the in the old days, that's what they had. Um, now, most shelters, you know, when you buy... Okay, you're going to have to get out of here. Uh, a lot of shelters nowadays um, are actually being built with... Um, uh, they're, they're very tiny, um, which, which kind of makes sense. Um, because when you have these... You know, it's one thing if you just, like, I'm going to have a basement in my house. But, you know, not everyone's going to build a basement, and ba basements are expensive. So, seriously? <sighs> Move. <laughs> no. I guess I can leave a villager. I could leave a villager down in our base. <laughs> I guess I should make some... Uh, should make some ladders. So... As I was saying, they're very tiny, and you know, it, there there often be like, for instance, in the garage when you pour your concrete slab, you just have like a divot, and it's just like a little metal door you slide open, and you can go down inside of it, and there'll be a couple people, you know, they can you can fit your family or just sit in there, but the only thing you can do is sit in there and feel kind of claustrophobic while you think it's torn above you, and in in the end, okay, I guess you're gonna go down here with us. In the end, it serves its purpose, um, you know, it works. But if anything, it almost makes it better. One, because it's cheap, but two, because you don't have to worry about, you know, when, you, when you're underneath the house as a full basement, if the house does get completely destroyed, you, you worry about things collapsing on top of you. But if you are in that little concrete box, um, it, that safe room, it's definitely might work a little. Are you serious? Oh my 
gosh, this is way more complicated than it needs to be. You have made this very difficult, mister. Um, but to finish what I'm trying to spit this out, um, you know, it, when you have to dig people out and, you know, there's just debris everywhere, it's a, it's a process, which, you know, it's going to be actually just as much a process when you're in that concrete slab. It doesn't really make a difference, but they're often much tinier now. So we're going to kind of do sort of in between. Are you serious? Um, I'm going to be doing in between. So it's going to involve, I'm about to murder you. It is going to involve... I don't know what it's going to involve, actually. We're going to run out of wood, but we guess we don't really need wood for this. Um, I need cobblestone. I am scatterbrained right now. I can't figure out what the heck I'm trying to do. So, let me know down below. Someone comment and... Oh, you climbed out. Oh, no, you didn't. You're not that smart. You are not that smart. Okay. So comment down below. Someone do you, you know do you have a do you have a basement or storm shelter or safe room? Some some safe rooms are storm shelters are above ground. Um which is is definitely a, a, something you can have. It's it's above ground. Um but it's all completely concrete and some people might also have that as like the hail shelter or you know shelter for many other reasons or just like a safe room in the house but um i well of course now here i'm here in florida even in, in virginia and in pennsylvania did not have a basement or storm shelter house but most people in that those regions don't for obvious reasons um however in um you know we we always had our neighbor of course you have your interior rooms like you know we had an interior bathroom on the first floor that was surrounded, uh, did not have windows in it, and that, that served its purpose. We had, I remember we've taken shelter in that many times, but uh, just make sure you, you have your plan. If you don't have a storm shelter or a basement, make sure you know that interior room that does not have windows and the first floor dead as many walls between you and the outside of your house. And then, you know, it's also not a bad idea to know, like, your neighbor, like, the neighbor behind us had a basement and we've been over there more than one times so where like you know there was a storm coming in and the warning was just issued and the storm hadn't reached our part of the county yet so we were like it's still safe and we walked over and you know we went into their basement so we've done that before too and that's definitely something you know you can you can do um just got to be careful that obviously takes time to do that and sometimes you'll have 20 30 minutes depending on when the warnings are issued sometimes you might not you know the, somebody might have spotted the tornado the other you know the other end of the neighborhood and you have to you have to be prepared um i should probably bring the radar down here with me although i think we'd hear thunder first wouldn't we if there was anything to worry about so uh you guys wanted to know what the worst weather i had been in uh someone had asked that they wanted me to share a story of what was the worst weather i'd, I'd had and that's you know that's very tricky to answer because well, that's kind of arbitrary. Well, the worst hurricane, the worst thunderstorm, the worst blizzard or, you know, snowstorm. Never officially been in a blizzard um, that, you know, had that met the criteria, which was three consecutive hours of visibilities less than a quarter of a mile due to heavy snow or blowing snow in winds gusting or sustained of at least 35 miles per hour. Have not had that. However... I've uh, been in plenty of big snowstorms. Um, but I would probably say, at least like the, you know, the worst weather that pops out to, into my head is always hurricanes. And it would probably be Irene. Hurricane Irene. Oh, and we have a thunderstorm with severe winds. We have a severe thunderstorm producing winds, which, if you did not know, severe winds... So there's multiple ways that a storm can be classified as severe, and it's mainly because of wind or hail. So lightning does not make a storm severe. It's just a normal thunderstorm. But in order to be severe, it's got to be producing winds uh, gusting in excess of 58 miles per hour, which is, what, 65 knots or something? So 58 miles per hour or greater is confirmed to have, um, is confirmed to have severe weather. 
Um, or you've got hail, which is quarter size or greater, I believe, which is, what, an inch, an inch or larger. So is this moving towards us and strengthening? It's sort of moving closest to, but it's strengthening, so we got some time. We'll, we'll definitely get some work on this basement, um, just in case. So we'll go ahead and snag that, just because I know I needed that achievement. All right. So this is a little bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be to build this little basement. Um, can you can you not? Please, can you not? Um, I do. I want to keep the wood floor in the actual house, so we're just going to do a cobblestone ceiling. This is probably going to end up as mostly cobblestone. That's actually a good idea. Let's smelt a little bit of smooth stone so that we can... Um, Oh, it's it's a mesocyclone. It is a severe thunderstorm. So let me let me plop this down. There you go. That'll be easier to get in and out of. But let's plop a let's let's pop a chunk of uh, stuff in there to cook. Let's let it cook. Yeah, it's just wind. I can't remember if it's wind first or hail first. I don't I don't remember. But I think we only gonna want this to be three. Actually, we could do it just too high. Um, we'll do it three high because I might put our enchanting stuff in the corner of that. So we'll do three high, which means that this is the ceiling. Although I could have put these in as slabs. Um, and then I can do... I could do smooth stone as the floor. Um, and then stone brick as the walls, maybe. Maybe that would be decent. And oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm flooding. This is not good. We have water in the corner of the house. I forgot about that. Which means... Hmm. That just means we're a little bit more vulnerable because we have just a bunch of dirt with the water. We could flood this place out. So we'll have to do a little bit of reinforcement here. We'll just definitely have to make sure that our walls are stone because this corner could get ripped to shreds pretty easily. And that would become an issue. Um, that That's definitely a little frightening. I don't even hear thunder yet, though. It's getting close. Oh, is it weakening already? Ah. Okay, well, it's weakening already. The thunderstorms in Breath of the Wild. I mean, talk about awesome. Like, you'll start hearing thunder and then... Why, what is your obsession with this spot? Both people. Is it because it's a hole? Is it because there's a trap door? What's the deal? Um, in case the entire population is just killed, I'm going to keep two down here so that way we can breed them back up. That should be good, right? This is like our emergency. You guys are going to live down here in case everyone dies. <laughs> um, decent so this actually needs to be torn out oh i hear thunder now i hear thunder we're just gonna patch this up for now because i don't feel that safe with that um <laughs> okay well now i'm going to fill this in so he doesn't go down in there again so this will be the floor three high we're gonna have this little walkway here I'm actually going to put the ladders on the other side. Um, I could make this whole... I need to make this whole entrance concrete. Because if you just have any dirt anywhere, tornado comes through, it rips up this dirt here. If there is any sort of opening between stone and dirt, sucked right out of here. So we'll have to definitely do that. Um, this needs to become stone. This is definitely not safe. You need to get pushed out of here. Please. Please. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I think we're going to postpone this project for now. I can finish off on that, and we're going to storm watch, just in case this has a different mind of its own. I'm also going to need to put some more stone in there. And I'm going to harvest some of this. We do have tornado sirens that would let us know, so I actually don't have that much to worry about. Are you okay? Are you stuck? Need some help? Is the AI... Oh, yeah, because this is 1.10, so I guess the AI is like still broken where nothing swims. So, that'll happen. And... Ready? Hop again. Okay, you're just going to choose to drown instead. That's totally okay. 
You do you. Yep, you're definitely going to drown. That's a shame. Yep, you're drowning. You're dumb. <laughs> Alright, here it comes. First thunderstorm. Actually, we should make the... Um, we should put the enchanting room in here. We should make like each one of these houses serve a different purpose in our base. I think that'd be pretty neat. Um, oh yeah, it's weakening. But the wind is booking and it is in flow. The storm is sucking it in. Look at that. I wish this would tell me what the wind speed was or do damage to me when I walk up to it. There we go. Thunderstorm coming. At least it's better than nothing, I guess. It's better than nothing. Alright, do we have some stone? We do have some stone. So I can get some walls. Walls are more important than the floor. So I guess I can start plopping some of this in. We're just going to... Every tornado you're just going to hear... And it's going to be like, okay. Beautiful. All right, this is going to flood, but that's okay. And I just pushed everyone into the corner. Oh, good. Oh, you're trying to make more babies. That's cute. <laughs> Not really. All right. So I think this, yeah, because there's the gravel from the paths. So this will be... Perfect. I guess I'm going to stake that because you're not picking it up. And you're throwing everything at him. I'll just leave that for you to pick up. Although your pockets look like you might be fooling up. You picked it up. Oh, you're just throwing it back and forth now. Sorry. I don't mean to... Don't mean to interrupt. Let's get some more torches in here. Okay. We need a lot more... A lot more stone. Oh yeah, that storm's like pitiful. There's nothing happening. Although if that does form a water spout, that'd be very neat. And it's probably not. It's definitely not. Okay. So anyway, talking about Hurricane Irene. Um, that was probably the worst weather I was in. Well, so like the worst weather I've been in like an immediate moment was like storm chasing when I was out in the Great Plains and we got clipped by one of the cells. And the same thing, a thunderstorm while storm chasing in Virginia got hit by a major downburst. One of those videos is on my channel. But as far as like the most traumatic, crazy weather, it was Hurricane Irene. And that was just because, um, you know, the house in the yard. Wow, right there. Oh, my gosh. The house and the house took damage. And um, my grandmother was having a medical emergency during the heart of the storm. And, um, you know, we couldn't get to the hospital or get in with us because there were so many trees on the roads and it was right in the border of the storm. So as far as like a horrible weather experience, it was definitely Hurricane Irene just because I was out at the bay, the grandparents, because they, you know, there wasn't any evacuations and it really wasn't going to be that bad. We just had a couple of bad luck things happen that turned this little situation into something much worse. So we are very lucky that this was weakening because this is coming straight for us. So I think definitely in between episodes, I'm just going to finish the basics of that up. And I'm going to leave that open just in case because this is on top of us. Although it is definitely weakening, continuing to. Man, it's not raining yet. These houses could burn down. Wow. Make sure there's not a fire. Nothing's burning, right? There's another one. It's my neighbor's house two summers ago completely burned to the ground because of a lightning strike we got in a severe thunderstorm that um, did a whole bunch of damage get in the house guys holy cow all right well that was that it's completely overhead and it's not even raining did I do something wrong because it's not raining at all <laughs> that's a little weird I restarted the, the, the game after changing those settings from last episode, but what are you going to do? Alright guys, I think that's going to be about it for this. You guys keep coming in here. I think they're walking on to the side. That's going to be it for this episode. 
and this is an uneventful thunderstorm, it almost could have been bad. This is a reminder that we need basements and we need to restructure things. And, you know, we have to start thinking about that kind of stuff. But uh, I think this is coming together pretty well. So this is, again, another reminder that if you want to see some storm chase footage from, I, from this last summer that I was in Virginia, there is a couple of, I think, pretty decent videos of the trip some good pictures and some segments of the worst of the storms hitting through. So go ahead and check that out on my second channel. Link will be down below in the description, as it always is. And next episode, I will have at least this just modeled over with an X. Hopefully, we'll craft another radar next episode. This will be just, you know, the basics built in. And uh, this will be sealed up. And I think... We will maybe start working, unless someone comments a bunch of good stuff, or, you know, I might, I think I'm going to keep recording, which means I'm not reading the comments at the moment, but I think we're definitely going to build um, some sort of observation tower so we can see the weather. Of course, it's going to be almost all concrete, probably particularly ugly to start, um, but it will be glass at the top that'll make it susceptible to damage, but at least we can get a better view to see if there's actually a tornado on the ground and what it's doing. So that will be the schedule for next episode. Yeah, this storm is piddling out. That was a close one. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you later. See ya.